Right, let's run through these records. This is just to help me. The Terry's Chocolate Orange Challenge. The biggest challenge with this one is that the timer starts before you can even touch the wrapper. So it's about getting that wrapper off as fast as you possibly can and just getting into that delicious chocolate. Another really tough element of this is that Terry's Chocolate Orange is delicious and you don't want to eat it fast. Yes. Hi, my name is Leah Shutkiva and I'm the UK's number one female competitive eater and multiple Guinness World Record title holder. My biggest goal in 2020 was to hit 20 Guinness World Record titles. 2020 was such a doom and gloom year. There's been so much going on and everybody's been a little bit disheartened. And I wanted to create a light at the end of my own tunnel. It, it's an achievement that will create content and entertainment and we're very close and I'm very excited. So fingers crossed, we will get there. Next up, the burrito challenge. Now this was tough because it was just a tough challenge. The time to beat was solid and it definitely took me a few attempts to beat it. I have a famous bite and swallow technique, which is, I don't know why people find such fascination in it, but it's something that you definitely develop quite early on in competitive eating, especially when doing Guinness World Record titles. You learn that it wastes time to chew. So you kind of do this whole bite that needs to go down, the next bite needs to go in, like ASAP. So I don't really know like how I do it, I just know that I can do it and thankfully it's what's got me to where I am today. The fastest time to eat three pickled eggs. Now I think the biggest challenge about this record was that I worked out that I could swallow eggs whole which is insanity but it definitely made my life a little bit easier. Eating a muffin with no hands. The fastest time to eat a muffin with no hands. The difficulty, the challenge with this one is that you are literally head first at the table and I was just super apprehensive that I was going to hit my nose on the table. I don't know why that was my biggest concern but it was that there was just some kind of fear that I was gonna break my nose again. Not that I've broken my nose during a food challenge before, but I have broken my nose in life before and I need to avoid doing that because it's bad enough as it is. The fastest time to eat three mince pies. Now the challenge with this one is that I didn't think I was going to be able to do it. Now mince pies are super dry and you're not allowed to have any liquid or water with this challenge. So the biggest challenge here is that you just need to be able to swallow things dry. It's pretty grim, but it's true. The fastest time to eat one liter of gravy. Now I was pretty confident going into this one. I just didn't anticipate the difficulty that will come with finding the right size straw. I know it's something that you would never have to do in a normal day-to-day -day life, but I did have to find the perfect straw of the perfect dimensions in order to undertake this challenge. The difficulty then was trying to suck up really thick gravy through a straw. It is so tough on the cheeks, but we managed to do it. <laughs> I <tried> myself. <laughs> oh my Most tomatoes eaten in one minute. This challenge was one of those I thought it's definitely not going to do well like in society because I know so many people that are not huge fans of tomatoes. So I think the biggest challenge with this one is that I didn't think it was going to do so well on social media, but turns out that it has and I'm just over the moon with it. So tomatoes lovers out there, thanks for watching the video. It was great fun to do and I would do it again in a heartbeat. 
most sausages eaten in one minute. Now this challenge was interesting because just like the eggs, I learned that I could swallow the sausages whole. You have to sort of develop a rhythm quite early on, but I think that once you've developed it, it's super like fluid. Most sausages swallowed in one minute. Now believe it or not, the sausage records are entirely different and that is because the size of the sausage is different and that is definitely what made the swallowing sausage record so much harder than the eating. The challenge with this one was that you could not lick your lips. I know, it sounds ridiculous. I thought that I had it down. I thought that I was like, I can do this. I'm focused, I'm into it, I can do it. But it was not that easy. In fact, it wasn't easy at all. Off camera, I tried this record and I failed twice. I'd eaten two donuts, forgotten about the lip licking thing and ended up licking my lips and disqualifying myself. So then I had to have my witnesses repeat over and over, don't lick your lips. Don't lick your lips. When you're doing these records, you're not thinking. So when we finally got there, it was just like, yes. <laughs> Thank God. It's actually really fun going through these. Most spring rolls eaten in one minute. Spring rolls are really dry and they're really difficult to eat without water. I also recall that it was difficult to find the right size spring rolls because you can't have the, the miniature ones. They have to be a minimum weight. And we were disqualified on this record also because one of our spring rolls in weighing on camera came up as one gram less than 60 grams. So we had a 59 gram and the rest were over 60 grams. And it, I think that it was just a scale discrepancy, but we were disqualified. We did have to do it again, but thankfully the second time around, they were all over 60 grams, which is fantastic. Fastest time to eat 80 grams of watercress. I don't know what possessed me to go for this record. I don't think that I had ever eaten watercress on its own before, but if you haven't and you are wondering what the experience is like, it's incredibly peppery. So uh, the challenge with this one is that it was just rabbit food, you know? It's just rabbit food. It's not very enticing. It's not very intriguing. It was one of those records I thought, let's do it, we need to get to 20. And we, we did it, we did it. <laughs> the most lasagna eaten in 30 seconds. Now this one, was an interesting one because it's one that I've never done before. It's something that was totally different to all the others. 30 seconds on the clock, not a minute, not three minutes, you have 30 seconds, one hand only, no liquids, and you have to use a teaspoon. So the challenge here is that you're worried that you're going to pull the container off the table. It, was, it wasn't easy at all. And the teaspoon idea, whose idea was that? The most pickles eaten in one minute. The challenge here was to know how many pickles you think you're going to eat in a minute, then add a couple extra, and also to measure them one by one. And that takes some time when you've got 20 odd pickles in front of you. So yeah, make sure to measure appropriately and you won't get disqualified. The most hot crust buns eaten in three minutes. Now this one I thought was going to be a lot easier than it was. I thought if I can do 10 donuts in three minutes, I can definitely do at least 10 hot crust buns. No, 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 no. It was definitely a learning process and a journey in itself. Doing hot crust buns, it's about doing some market research. Find the right ones, find the right texture, and you'll be winning. Otherwise, it's dry and hard. And I've failed more than once.
the most marshmallows eaten in one minute. The challenge here is that I was taking on LA Beast. He set the record at 19 and I felt like I had to, I had to get it. I'm so, so sorry to him, but I had to get this record. The challenge was the competition, otherwise delicious. Leah has also used social media to cement her reputation as the UK's number one. On her YouTube channel, she posts amazing eating feats. My goal moving forward with my YouTube and online career is just to keep going. It's just the best thing in the world. I almost feel like my audience are my boss and I'm reporting back for like a, a weekly review of how I did that week. And you know what is, it, it's great, it's really great. I don't really have many people that I collaborate with, but I do collaborate with some great organizations and companies. And I did have the pleasure of working with the strongman himself, Mr. Eddie Hall, 2017 World Strongest Man winner and an overall legend. Like I really loved working with Eddie. He's such a humble guy. He was really fun to work with. And hopefully we'll have an opportunity to work together again in the future where I can teach him to eat. <laughs> He's not gonna like that. <laughs> I hope you all liked learning a little bit more about my unique and wild life and I hope that you guys do tune in to both the Guinness World Record YouTube channel and also my own. Search me over on social media, just search Leah Shutkiva and I'll see you there. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later.